With infinite banking, when I die, does my family get the death benefit, cash value, or both? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. So we teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the infinite banking concept. So be sure to subscribe to our page, like this video, and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. But before we get into the content for today, have you subscribed to our Patreon account yet? Hmm. <laughs> our Patreon account is where we share exclusive content on how to fit infinite banking into your lifestyle, the mechanics of policies, and legacy planning that we teach nowhere else. Mm -hmm. So after this video, make sure you hop over to our Patreon account and subscribe. Now let's get into the content for today. Cash value and death benefit, which is something that we talk about a lot when it comes to infinite banking. And the question is, do I get both whenever I pass away? Do my family get both when I pass away? The answer is no, because the cash value is a prepayment of death benefits. So they're one and the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are like, why can't I get both? I've paid all this time. But what the insurance company actually does is throughout your entire lifetime, as you're paying into the policy, they're siphoning pieces of the death benefit to you that becomes available in cash value. Mm -hmm. So the bonus to you is that you're actually able to utilize pieces of your death benefit while you're living, as opposed to dying for it and not being able to use it at all. So with that point that Carmen made, the insurance company will never give you more cash value than your death benefit. Your cash value won't equal your death benefit until your age 100 or 121, depending on how long the policy is out for. So telling you the difference is one thing. What we're going to actually do is flip over and show you our screen. So if you notice, this is Carmen's policy. This is my personal policy that I have with Ohio National Life. So in order to read this, you'll notice there is a guaranteed section versus a non-guaranteed section. And the only difference between these sections is this dividend. So this column here that says dividend, this is the return of premium that we receive on our anniversary. Now, a dividend cannot be guaranteed. However, Ohio National Life has been paying dividends for over 90 years. So that's a huge perk that you want to look at when you're looking at mutual life insurance companies. Now, to break out what uh, Darius and I said, when you pass, are you going to receive the cash value or the death benefit or both? So what I want to show you in this guaranteed section here is my cash value column versus my death benefit column. And if you notice, as I continue to age, I'm, I have access to more and more cash value as the years go on, and my death benefit continues to increase as well. What I want you to really see is when we scroll down to the mature date of this policy when I'm 121 years old, you'll notice that the cash value and the death benefit equal each other. So the insurance company allows you to access portions of your death benefit while you're living so that by the time this policy matures, you would have used your entire death benefit if you get a loan from it every single year. So that's the main thing that we want to make sure that you take away from this video is that your death benefit and your cash value are essentially one and the same. The insurance company is just allowing you to access portions of your death benefit while you're living when you request a loan. And then the same thing here on this non-guaranteed side. If you look at the cash value in the non-guaranteed section versus the death benefit, when we look at the mature age of this policy again at 121, the cash value and the death benefit equal each other. And the difference again between the non-guaranteed and the guaranteed side is the dividend. So that dividend is a huge factor in cash value growth and death benefit growth because you see the significant difference. So as long as Ohio National Life continues to produce dividends that will change the cash value availability that I have within this policy. Now, I also wanted to show you Darius's policy. One of his policies is with American United Life, so you can see what it looks like with a different company. So with this policy, how it looks, the cash value and the paid up additions cash value column, that's what that stands for, PUA, you're going to add both of these columns together. So in the very first year, he has 57.45 available. And then in year three, you're going to start adding these two columns together. So let's go ahead and compare the growth over the years. So 
Initially, Darius has $458,738 in this one policy. Again, we have the guaranteed side versus the non-guaranteed side, and the difference is the dividend. So how American United Life breaks out their cash value is they tell you base, which is your insurance, how much cash value is growing in that section versus the paid up additions rider that we add on. So it breaks it out for you so you can differ between the base cash value and the paid up additions cash value. And again, you're going to add these two together. So let's go down to the mature date of this policy. Again, this one is 121 years when Darius is 121 years old. So at this point, you'll notice we're going to add the base cash value together, this $429,515 plus the $128,575. Now I'm going to add this up so you can see what this looks like. And if you notice, when we add both of these cash values together, it equals $550. $98,090. So again, in this instance with Ohio National, his cash value is going to equal his death benefit upon the mature date of this policy. And then let's take a look at the non-guaranteed side. So in the non-guaranteed side, remember the difference is the dividend. So in this case, when we look at total net cash value, this is going to add both the base and the paid up additions cash value together plus the dividend. So if you notice what Darius's total net cash value versus the total net death benefit, you'll see that this total net cash value is slightly higher. And again, that's because of that dividend growth. So in this instance, his cash value is slightly higher than the death benefit. So let's do the math to see what the difference is. So the difference is $53,289, and again, that difference is because of that dividend. So in this instance, the difference is the dividend, which is paid out on the anniversary. So once this is paid out on the anniversary, that would change the total death benefit to include that dividend payout. So the same thing with Ohio National Life and American United Life, they are not going to pay you more in cash value than what the death benefit equals. Okay, and one last example, this is with Security Mutual Life, so we wanted to show you three of our personal policies with three different companies. So Security Mutual Life is another company that we work with, and again, if we're looking at the columns, we have total surrender value, which is the cash value, compared to the death benefit. So in the very first year, I have a little over $652,000 in death benefit. And if we just scroll all the way to the bottom, which we're going to look at my mature date of 121 years of age. So in this case, you'll notice my total cash value or the surrender value is $766,916. And my death benefit is the exact same amount. So again, let's look at the non-guaranteed side to include the dividend. We have my total surrender cash value, which is $4.2 million, and the death benefit is the exact same amount again. So we just wanted to make sure that you're able to see with three different companies how the cash value and the death benefit correlates. We hope that this was helpful actually being able to show you how the cash value is allocated to you throughout your lifetime because really what you're doing, again, just to reiterate, is you're being able to utilize pieces of your death benefit now while you're living. Mm -hmm. So they're not two separate entities, they are one and the same and the death benefit is what you're using, whether it be a withdrawal from your policy or getting a loan because a loan for its definition is a prepayment of death benefit. Mm -hmm. Which we highly recommend when it comes to implementing the infinite banking concept into your life mm -hmm. real life stuff mm -hmm. thank you so much for spending some time with us today make sure you follow us on facebook and instagram at wealthnation.io and don't forget to check out our patreon page at patreon.com forward slash wealth nation and remember own your own lifestyle or someone else will <laughs>